Under the tax laws, corporation, specifically a C corporation, is like a lobster pot. It's easy to enter, difficult to live in, and painful to get out of. This quote or phrase is one of the most commonly known in all of tax law because of the famous people that said it. There were two famous professors, Boris Bitker and James Eustace, known all around the world for corporate tax law and the rules that said this. The idea here is a lobster pot is not a boiling pot of lobsters. We're talking about a lobster trap. So those people up in the Northeast, you might know about a lobster pot being a lobster trap. The idea is that if you've ever seen a lobster trap or a crab trap, it's easy to enter. It's easy to get into. It's difficult to live in. So there's a lot of other lobsters. It's very small. You can't really do much in there. And then it's extremely hard to get out of. It's painful to get out of. It's a very small area you can get out of, of, of the cage. And occasionally lobsters or crabs, they will get out. They usually lose claws or whatnot. So it's painful in that sense. So the idea is that when you're looking at a C corporation from formation operations and liquidation, it's easy to enter. There's non-recognition with respect to no gain or loss when you transfer property into the corporation if you meet certain requirements. So there's not a lot of tax consequences there. Then the operations. We get hit with the dreaded double taxation. That's a big one. We don't want double taxation, but C corporations, they have that, right? The double taxation is tax at the entity level on the C corporation level. And then when we distribute out the property or cash to the owners, they get taxed a second time. And then finally on liquidation, there's even more levels of tax that take place, making it extremely uh, painful to get out of. So C corporations, have, that's the, they've been analogized to a lobster pot in that regard. Keep that in mind when you go through the rules of a C corporation that on formation, yeah, things might be easy, but then operations, you know, the normal year to year, op year, to year operations and then liquidation, very, very difficult uh, compared to other entities like passer entities, partnerships and S corporations and sole proprietorships tax one time and then also in liquidation, they don't have all this level. So keep that in mind. C corporation, it's got some major tax consequences there, some disadvantages. Keep these in mind.